update number 11. Hi guys. Seeing as we are still trying to avoid ticks, that has actually pushed us into the cities. So I don't know if you guys know this, but it's actually illegal to be in Chicago and not get Chicago style pizza. So I'm just doing my best to be a law abiding citizen. Right, bud? is to try to car camp in the city but we would a have to find like a nice neighborhood to do that in and b find somewhere that allows overnight parking which in chicago is a little bit tricky <laughs> so so we'll see how that goes that is a beast of a pizza blue how am i supposed to even eat this thing it's like a casserole look how thick that is wow <laughs> Alright kid, it's time to go explore the city. Chicago was only ever two and a half hours away, so it was kind of like whenever you got bored or wanted to go to the Cheesecake Factory or just felt like getting out of Michigan, we would take day trips to Chicago. So safe to say I'm pretty familiar with the city, but I just haven't been in a few years. Man, we are not city people, huh, bub? We are not used to this. But hey, no ticks, so I'm all for it. Come on. Navy Pier, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we came here once when Blue was like two years old, and uh, my best friend Nicole and I played hide and go seek with him on Navy Pier. It was really funny. Good times, huh, Bub? He's a city boy. I miss my dog, so I have to pay all the dogs I see. <laughs> For you. Can I just do a large water? Get a cup with it too. Oh yeah, how many cups? Just one. Here you Thank are. you. Are you gonna put it on this card? I'll send yep. you a receipt. Thank Thanks. you so much. Like we'll know we need it from South Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Let's go back to the car, bub. Back with five minutes to spare. All right, hop up. Good boy. about a busy city yeah I know I know but there's no ticks here so it's better for us right now are you sad we're not in the woods are you sad we're not in the woods
Well guys, I've been driving around for like an hour trying to find parking from different spots on iOverlander and I am having absolutely no luck. All of the free parking is taken. And it's a Tuesday, so I'm kind of like... Um, shouldn't it be a little bit more open? It's not like I'm out here on the weekend. I've got a few more spots for free parking that I found online. I'm gonna check out and we'll we'll see if we get lucky tonight. If not, we might have to go outside the city, but hopefully not. Well, I guess we will do. You wanna play fetch before bed? You wanna play fetch before bed? Well, okay then. Okay, so. Dude, just don't quit. Energy for days. Blue. Drop the boy. Playing fetch in downtown Chicago. You really do get around. Oh, I don't know that this is the best place to spend the night, but honestly, it's our only option. So <laughs> let's just look. There's like a group of kids back there drinking and blasting music on a Tuesday night at 10 p.m. So, I don't know. We'll see. Sounds kind of a bop. I'm not gonna lie. Bubby seems pretty unbothered. Do you want to attempt to go to bed, Bubby? I have a feeling this is going to be a long night, you know? There's also buses zooming by where we're parked and ambulances going off like every 20 minutes, so. Oh man, I have a feeling this is going to be a long night. It's downtown Chicago, what did I expect, you know? Sometimes you just got to do it for the experience. <laughs> Just a wee bit cramped. Hi, Pepperline. I know it's a weird place to camp tonight, huh? Come on, lay down. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a tad worried about tonight. Um, I know that I full well walked into this situation and chose to camp here. It's not like I couldn't have left the city. I'm doing it for the culture, okay? <laughs> It's for the experience. My biggest concern is the people that are around here and especially the fact that I have my Instagram handle on the back of my car. I just don't want to end up being a target, so, but there's not really much I can do. So I guess I don't really know what else to say. There's the huge bus I was talking about. I'm pretty good with noise though, so I mean that, like the bus and the planes and the ambulance should be fine. Praying it all goes smoothly and no one tries to mess with me because, yeah, Pupper Lou. It could be I've just been in the woods for too long and I'm not used to like city slickers, but everybody seems really mad and argumentative. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyways, we'll see how the night goes. I'm gonna try to get some sleep, so wish us luck.
That was probably one of the worst nights I've had in my car. <laughs> oh man. We are not city slickers, that's for sure. Go potty. Boy. Blue, come. Come on. Hop up. We need to find coffee, bub. And I tried to get coffee in the city yesterday and it was terrible. It was terrible. This coffee tastes like green beans. Starbucks for the win. You guys, last night was brutal. I'm not even joking. There was people playing music until 4.30 in the morning. People scream fighting in the streets. Obviously ambulances were going off like crazy. So it was just like you'd fall asleep for like five minutes and then someone would like scream shout, wake you up and then you'd fall asleep. And then somebody would play a new song that was like, the bass was like shaking the street. <laughs> I mean, it's Chicago, so I don't know what I expected, but wild. That was a wild car camping experience, huh, bub? <laughs> it was like, where's the woods? What is going on? I know. He's probably tired too. He was up barking all night. Yeah, you had to protect the car. <laughs> we had to do it for the culture, bub. I'm good, thank you. There you go, bub. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Secure the bag. On to the next. See you guys in the next one.